Hi guys, it's Chris. Not back in the side of shed. Back in my kitchen. Can't get out of my shed. Because as you can see, I've got my arm oh, in a sling. Had shoulder surgery uh, a few days ago now. I uh, had a tendon reattached, fixed, that was torn. Had some bone taken away. Had a bicep tendon cut because that was inflamed. Uh, now I've got it all patched up. Got a sling on. Got to keep this on for six weeks. Uh, but yeah, I like cider. I like drinking cider. And I like tasting cider. And I have lots of cider still to try. So I'm going to do it. So here I am, back in the saddle. Or halfway back into the saddle. When I get back to the shed, that'll be fully back on the horse in the saddle. Whatever metaphor you want to use. All right, so what we've got today, well, some more from Tor Cider Company. These guys. There you go. We've got some nice stuff from these guys, I have to say. I've really liked them. Uh, they're also known as the uh, Fenny Castle Winery, winemakers, winery. Uh, so they do wine as well. I have to say in the past, I've, I've past I found some wine makers' side is a bit, a little bit neutral, a bit uninteresting. These guys, though, I've been liking it. Good acidity, really interesting flavours. Not sure if they're using wild yeast, uh, but they're getting character in there. Uh, they're certainly using oak. I don't know if they're using new oak. I assume they are, but maybe because uh, if they're using oak, they already had wine in that would influence, and that's not really been noted. So French casks and um, American casks, either a blend of or individually. Um, and this one has also been in a cask. It's their single barrel vintage dry cider. Sorry, comes on this side. And they only do this once a year. They'll do this. They'll do a special barrel. Actually, let's read what it says. Let's read what it says. Tor Cider Company makes single orchard blend craft ciders. The character of each blend comes from a unique mix of apple varieties found in our small subset orchards. The hand apples are milled, gently pressed, blah, blah, blah. We've read all this before. Uh, in the spring, we taste maturing ciders and select the very best barrels to be bottled straight off the fermentation lees. as our single barrel cider. Here was the vibrant, youthful cider for you to enjoy. So there you go. This is their, only, this is their single barrel cider. And also the single orchard thing. So they're not using specific varietals, but all of their apples come from specific orchards. So that's what's... So the, 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 the sides are named after the individual orchards, like Monksford, Yardley Hill, etc. This one, however, is not named after anything, because it it's, it's all about the barrel with this one, and also, I guess, the orchard. Don't know what I'm talking about. I'm quite drugged up. So I seem a bit dotty, that's why. Anyway, let's open it. How am I going to open it? Uh, I'm going to have to put it... I'm going to do it between my legs. Hang on. Ow. Did it. Here we go. Testing glass. Right. Oh, let's pour it out. It's not as bad as it was, but it's still pretty so. Let's pour it out. I'll hold it up in a second. Unfortunately, I can't hold it up whilst pouring. So, a lot of these have seemed still. They've had a very slight spritz to them, what I've really liked. It's just a hint of a prickle, which has really lifted them. I've really liked it. So, there you go. Uh, I would say that that is just going over to over in chamber from gold. It's bright. It looks like there might be some slight bubbles in there. Let's give it a sniff. I can't take notes at the moment either because I can't write because I'm right-handed. It's my right hand that's in the sling. So I'm going to have to use these for my notes and take notes afterwards. I usually take the right notes and film. All right, let's give it a sniff. Similar in character, actually. There's acidity in there. It's nice. There's an autumnal character. There's a... There's a rich, ripe apple, but acidity, and it doesn't smell like it's going to be sweet in any way, shape, or form. You can't smell sweet, but this doesn't suggest any form of sweetness. It does say it's dry on here. Yeah, vintage dry cider. Another sniff. Yeah, nice. A bit of, oh, maybe a slight hint of dark honey just on the very back end or something like that. Just on the very back end, which is nice. It smells good. It smells like it's got acidity, therefore character, which I like. I like that. All right, let's give it a go. Cheers. Yeah, again, it's a little hint of spritz. It's really good. It just tickles the tongue. It's brilliant. I love it. I hate overcarbonated ciders. It gets my back up when ciders are overcarbonated. But I have to say, I'm loving these subtly carbonated ones from a tall cider company. Really nice. Really nice sensation on the palate, just right. It doesn't mask any flavour, just lifts the whole thing though, like it's been seasoned. It's brilliant. Um, so yeah, bone dry, properly bone dry, which is good, I like that. And I tell you what, the, the palate follows through on the nose. It's got that depth of apple character. 
There is a hunt of like dark honey about it, although it's bone dry. Don't ask me how, but that's what it's making me think of. Um, very delicate tannins this. It's not particularly tannic compared to some of the others. Lovely acidity. Um, kind of like a lactic, lactic acidity. Mm, yeah, not really malic, lactic I'm gonna say. I wouldn't say acetic, I wouldn't say it's going over to that, 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 it's not that bold in acidity. So nasty, but lovely, cleanses the palate. Um, it's good, it's really good to see in the 6.5. Okay, so Tor Valley Cider Company makes some good cider, fact. Um, fact, and I've got a Champagne Method one from them to try as well, but it's 750ml, so I haven't wanted to open that yet. Maybe Brayburn is interesting, so they're using a culinary apple, dessert apple, to make their cider with the Champagne Method, which is very interesting. I'm pointing over there because it's over there in my rack. Um, so I'm looking forward to try that because I'm presuming that none of the things I've used so far I've had dessert apples in. They've all been cider apples from cider orchards, old cider, established orchards. Um, so it's interesting to see what they do with using a sort of winemaking technique, like traditional traditional method, uh, a method to this now, champagne method, and using a culinary apple to do that. I wonder how that's going to work out. Cool. So um, while I've been sort of in lockdown as well, because I've had to stay isolated post-operatively -oper for seven days as well. Uh, I had some nice messages though from people, some really nice messages, got invited to see a new little uh, cider maker, they got in touch with me in Herefordshire. Looks really interesting, really thanks to Tom and Lydia, Lydia and Tom, who sent that invite. I'm definitely going to go and see them. Uh, and a guy called Robbie sent me a really interesting email as well, who makes cider. And we were talking about, I've been talking about colouring cider a bit. And he said for the first time, so he's making cider, I don't know if he's doing it on an amateur level or a professional level. Just having Robbie, you forget his surname, Phillips possibly. It is Robbie's definitely his surname. Fleming, I think it's Robbie Fleming. He said for the first time recently he pressed dessert apples with cider apples. I think it was a Yarlington Mill. And he said the difference in colour between the two was, was quite extraordinary. And the reason being there's more tannin in cider apples which is one of the reasons they have more structure, they're more interesting, but it's the tannin, the polyphenols that go brown reacting with the oxygen. So if you have more tannic apple, it's going to brown more easily. So that would explain why uh, cider apples give more colour, generally, because they're bitter sharp, bitter sweet, so more tannin. That's going to give you more colour in the, in the cider. Interesting. Thank you very much for telling me that, Robbie. Really interesting. Really cool. So yeah, uh, even though I'm at home, people send me messages. It's really, it's, it's great. Uh, it's really great. So I'm not isolated at all. Technology is a wonderful thing. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me once again. Uh, I'll be back super soon because I've got other things to try with another cider. But until then, cheers.